Hi, welcome to the Urban Outdoors in SoCal video. My name is Danny Milton, and today I'm in Aliso Viejo doing a little bit more DJI versus Hero 11 testing. It's coming to my attention that a lot of people are having problems with the DJI Action 3 as far as the level of detail that they're getting in their videos. What a lot of people are suspecting is that there is a problem with the camera focusing properly. While I was using this camera, I hadn't heard anything about this until a couple days ago. I was just under the assumption that it was just like a soft image, that the possibly, you know, maybe the ISO was way too high and you're getting a soft image out of the camera. But now that I've watched a couple of other YouTubers uh, doing videos on how the camera's not in focus, you know, I'll put links to those videos down below. Uh, I watched one video where a person had a DJI Osmo Action, the original, next to the Action 3 and they were focused in on a statue. You can tell right off the bat that the original Osmo Action was much clearer, much sharper, you know, just focused in on the image that they were looking at as compared to the Action 3. That person also went on to show you everything that they were doing, you know, how far away they were from the image and all that kind of stuff as well. Watch another video where a person was taking the Action 3 and was having it focused towards like a bar graph and had a bunch of lines and things on it like that. And he was showing you the difference of the focus of the Action 3 as compared to the Hero 11. And what really made it clear for me is that he was taking this thing called the diopter and putting it in front of the Action 3's lens. And as soon as he would put that diopter in front of the lens without touching anything on the camera, the image would become much clearer and much sharper. So that's indicative of a hardware issue, not a software issue. So over the last couple of days, DJI just sent out a new firmware for the Action 3. Now on the DJI Action 3, you cannot change the level of sharpness. On the GoPro, you can change the level of sharpness. I'll show you guys a quick screen grab of that. Uh, I believe you can have sharp, medium, and then I'm not sure what the lowest one is, but I'll show you guys here on screen. You can't do that on the DJI Action. So it looks like the new firmware just added more sharpness to the image. Now, just adding sharpness like that is kind of a cheat, and it really didn't help with the focus issue at all. It just made it look a little grainier with a little bit more contrast. So just for instance, right now, I'm recording with both cameras. I've got the GoPro Hero 11 side by side with the Action 3. And I'll flip back and forth between the two just to show you guys what I'm looking at. But I'm out here hiking right now. I'm just going to walk around. Just going to get some, you know, video of me walking past bushes, you know, at, you know, 10 to 12 feet. I'll get some close-ups as well. Just so we can see side by side what the image should look like in the GoPro Hero 11. And what you're getting with the newest firmware update out of the Action 3. <laughs> There's a lot of footprints and tire tracks. Let's just see how well these are going to get picked up by the Action 3. Also got the GoPro Hero 11 recording. Uh, this is in linear mode as well, so it's horizon balance and all that kind of stuff. So the, the D-Warp are a pretty much straight image out of the A3 and the linear lock and horizon balance out of the Hero 11. So I really like a lot of the things that this camera has to offer. How easily you can go through the menus, finding things you're looking for, having the ability to use the front screen or the rear screen to change those settings. You know, the front screen is touch sensitive. Having the cage on the camera itself so that you can shoot in 16 by nine or vertical with just a quick release of the camera. You just switch it to vertical mode and you're off and shooting as well like that. Switching out the ND filters on this camera is a lot easier than the GoPro as well. You know, this camera lens protector just screws right off and the ND filters just screw right on. Um, I have been using dead cats on the front of this camera. There's two little microphones underneath the camera itself, right where it says Action 3. There's two of the microphones are there. Put dead cats on. It seems to help a lot with, you know, this type of talking to the camera. You know, my first video 
there was a lot of wind noise because I didn't have the dead cats on. But then once we started going down the trail, the camera did a really good job, not with dead cats, filtering out that sound. So, But the biggest problem with this camera is the soft focus. And you can go back and pause any part of the video, you know, where I'm walking past the bushes or walking down the trail. And just having that footage side by side to the GoPro Hero 11, it really stands out how soft that picture is because the camera's not in focus completely. You know, if you were just looking at the footage of the A3 by itself, it probably wouldn't look too bad, especially if you're not watching it in like 1080p or 4K. Just real quick, I want to give a shout out to some of my channel supporters. Uh, their names are going to be going across the bottom of the screen here. I will have links down in the description below so you can go to any of those websites and check out some of the gear that I've been using from them. Also, if you do live in the Los Angeles or Orange County area, another one of my channel supporters is Gravity Bicycles. They have parts, they have service. If you need any type of shock tune or anything like that, you can take it over to the guys at Gravity and as long as they have the right parts in stock, we'll have your shock back to you within a couple of days. I will leave a link down in the description for their website. Please check them out as well. So I also have affiliate links down in the description below. They're going to lead you to a lot of the equipment that I use, you know, as far as the drones that I've used, GoPros, Action 3, stuff like that. And also some of the accessories that I've been purchasing for these cameras. I'm going to have affiliate links down in the description. If you click on those links, they will take you directly to Amazon. And if you make any purchases on that same web page, I will get a small percentage of that sale. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps support the channel. Unfortunately, I am going to be returning this camera. Newest firmware update has not really fixed the soft focus issue. Basically, all they did, it seems like, is they just added more sharpening to the image itself but the image is still soft. Like I said, go back to any part during the video and just pause the screen and just look at the difference between the image that you're getting out of the GoPro Hero 11 compared to the A3. Now, the A3 is not bad. I mean, it's still pretty decent video, but it's not anywhere near the GoPro Hero 11, and I'm just not going to keep a camera that is not going to you know, focus correctly. Okay, so thanks so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Make sure you do all that fun stuff for me, please. Smash that like button, share, comment. Definitely subscribe to the channel. You know, are you having similar problems with your A3? Leave me some comments or questions down below. Um, once you do subscribe to the channel, make sure you click that bell notification. That way you know when I come out with new videos. I'm not the most consistent when it comes, you know, week by week, but I am getting these videos out as quickly as I can. Last but not least, click on one of the boxes in the corners. One will take you to a rides playlist, another to a favorite video, and you can click the logo, the little circle logo in the corner, the Urban Outdoorsman SoCal logo to subscribe. Thanks a lot.